So there it is, 101. That was the high today, the first official day at 100 or higher, DFW. Uh, 81 degrees was the low this morning. The normals are 93 and 74, which uh, sounds amazing right now. Really, it does. Uh, the records, see the record high. And I want you to keep that in mind because that, that's important. 109 back in 1980. That summer, if you haven't lived here in North Texas very long, the summer of 1980 was the worst summer ever. Uh, I mean, it was atrocious. And you'll see the records here in just a little bit. Right now, 99. Feels like... 111 when you factor in the dew points in the middle 70s, winds out of the south of 15. So here's what's going on the next several days. 101 today, 103 tomorrow, 104 Tuesday, 108 Wednesday, 105 Thursday, and 103 Friday. Here's the thing, the humidity will go down a little bit. So heat index values are going to bounce around 110, even though we're at 103 and 104. Humidity will be a little bit lower, so we'll see heat indexes around 110. Heat indices, sorry. Sorry, English teachers. Wednesday, not heat, in, heat indexes. 110 Wednesday, 108 Thursday, 107 Friday. So it is going to be miserably hot over the next several days. Now, right now, we only have a heat advisory in effect until Monday. So what happens is these are only issued about 24 hours in advance. You'll just keep seeing this get extended. So all of North Texas is under a heat advisory for heat index values up to 110. Expect it Tuesday, expect it Wednesday, expect it Thursday, expect it Friday, and we're not alone. Practically the entire state under some sort of heat alert, an excessive heat warning from Midland down to Big Bend over to Houston, uh, parts of Central Texas. This is Monday. The Panhandle, though, somehow doing all right farther north. Still warm, though, just not as miserably hot. Here's the pattern. Heat dome is in place. We talk about this all the time. This big area of high pressure, it uh, not, doesn't eliminate rain chances completely, but it does bring them down uh, dramatically. So very low rain chances. It'll be hot, dry, sunny in the days uh, to come. We might, and I feel good about it, see a slight break next weekend. And you know the breaks around here this time of the year are not significant. You'll see it in the 10 day forecast. And a quick note, see these thunderstorms blowing up here in Arkansas. Uh, in parts of Oklahoma eventually. Some of those could clip our very far northeastern counties late tonight. I'm looking at Bonham, Paris, Clarksville, maybe Sulphur Springs. Uh, there could be a thunderstorm tonight, and if there is one that passes by, it could be severe. Level one marginal risk for Sherman down through Mineola, level two slight risk for Paris and Clarksville. Again, that's overnight tonight. The chances are very low, but that's the favored area. Tonight, 81, mostly clear skies, very warm and humid. Tomorrow, 103. Sunny and hot with a heat index up to 110. There's the next 10 days. There's the break. Listen, we already talked about the next several uh, with the triple digits. So just look at next Sunday, next Monday, and the 4th of July. It's going to be hot, yes. There's no doubt about it. But I think 96 is better than 108.